How are you all? Uh, it's me back again. I'm going to be reviewing The Who, The Hue, The Who. Uh, the song is Wolf Totem. They're a Mongolian metal band. Um, their first video, this Wolf Totem one, got a bit vi viral, in, in, especially in the metal circles. So, um, you know, it, it, it's kind of an old thing to review now, but I, I just like it so much I decided to give it a go. It's It's kind of monstrous in this way but uh i'm gonna play the video give it a go uh let us know what you think uh i definitely recommend this song but i just uh, enjoy it so much all right we got the large opening which again and they got a wicked kind of logo going on here. Let's see how this rolls out. I, I, I haven't watched the video in a while. So it's one of those things where, you know, it's just getting back into it. I remember when I first saw it, I think. I think like three or four months ago. I'll tell you one thing. It was done epic style. Like it, you, it wouldn't look out of place if you're watching Conan the Barbarian. I'd say the Schwarzenegger one rather than the Momoa one because uh, let's put this: you are you are getting video of the steps here in Mongolia. Here we go with the bikers. Sons of Anarchy, Mongolia edition. I'm a real sucker, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I love the fact that when the drums kick in on this, right? It feels like a traditional number. But I love the way, I'm a sucker for anything that has uh, like traditional instruments. But it's mixed in with um, modern stuff. Like, I love the way these guys light up, man. It, it's like the chorus line from hell. Like, just tell one of these fuckers to sing soprano. I fucking dare ya. Uh, no, the weird thing is, all the bikers in the background, right? If you if you if you don't if if you glance at it too quick, right? They look like they do look like Sons of Anarchy kind of stuff, but they look like Latino gangsters as well because they got the old number jacks on. Funny thing is, right? Really packing a punch with traditional instruments. It's not true metal in a sense, but it's it's fucking heavy if you're if you're using acoustic stuff. Especially if you're doing this Mongolian throat singing thing, mate. The bass on that fucking vibrates to your balls at once. Alright, it's just a simple setup for a video, you know, just a couple of singular shots around the fire, then you have the group shots, it's simple, it's to the point, but fuck me, he's got like a horse head top on that little traditional, I don't know, guitar thing that he's playing, I don't, I don't know the name of, a, of the instrument, so like, Somebody can, can, you know, fix that up for me, let me know what it is. I tell you, these, these guys, if they were busking, I wouldn't ask them to move along, you know what I mean? 
Like they're fucking rolling out hair. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it looks I swear, right? It's just their version of of the fucking grime crew showing up behind them and just chatting along with them. It's brilliant. Like, I don't know much about the lyrics, but, you know. But the, there's passion behind it. There is passion. Like, don't get me wrong. I've, I've, I've seen a couple of Discovery specials and all this, so, you know, it's not like I've never heard of Mongolia before or some of this history and stuff. But... When, when you actually hear the singing, which I have done on and off over the years, it's just kind of like, the human voice can fucking do that, man. Ah, uh, the fist bump. Now we're into it. Fist bump. Honestly, I want these guys to do charity work. I want them singing and I want the rest of the lads to collect the money for some random charity. I think they'd make a fucking killing. Or you wouldn't be fucking walking home if you said no to them. But, genius piece of work. I think I might actually look at another one of their tunes that came out. They released another one. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but I'm going to check it out. I'll give it a review. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. I like the fact they took acoustic instruments and made them metal. But it reminds me of like, um, there was a, uh, all done and dusted. There was a dance band a while ago, um, can't remember the name of the band, but the song was called uh, The Time Is Now. They used, um, they were a dance band anyway, so they're using electronic equipment. But for this particular one, they made a dance, like a house track out of acoustic instruments. Uh, and that kind of thing, fucking love it, fucking love it, honestly, you know, I don't really have much in the way of fun to say about it, because it's genuinely a good track, and I, I was blown away watching it when I watched it the first time, and watching it again, I'm just like, yeah, give it a go, give it a go, and see what it's like, maybe next time I'll watch it, you know, I'll, I'll check out what the lyrics are, or whatever, but certainly, very enjoyable, the who, the who, whatever. Anyway, lads, remember, wash your hands, keep hygienic, um, insert positive message here. See you later.